Hello and welcome to the session on introduction to PLC program. In our earlier session, we have seen normally open, normally close, output coil and input output table file operation of the PLC. Now in this session, we are going to uh, know, learn some instructions like set, reset, timer and counter instruction. Now what is set instruction? So set is if any rung path passes power, output is energized and remains energized even when no rung path passes power. What it mean? I will tell you. In figure 1 if you see, there is a normal contact, normal input and it is an output. Its output is a normal output. So once you press the button, the output B will be turned on. Once we release the button, the output will be de-energized means it will be off but if you see this as a set instruction over here set it in, in figure b figure 2 you can see that once we give the input as input a we will press the input the output will be energized and if you release the push button if you release the input a then also output will stay over there as energized output so this is called a set instruction now next is reset instruction so if any rung path passes power, output is de-energized and remains de-energized even when no rung path passes power. It means, if you see over here figure 1, when you press the button output will be energized and if you release the output will be de-energized. Over here, once you have set up the input, in earlier slide you have seen that you have, you have pressed the input and you have set up the output. Okay. Then here in this slide you can see figure 2 then once you press the input the output will be reset. So it will be de-energized and it will stay de-energized still if you re release the push button. Now next is timer instruction. So what is timer? A timer is a special kind of relay that when its coil is energized must wait for a fixed length of time before closing its contact. The waiting time is dependent on the set value which is called the SV of the timer. Once the delay time is up, the timer's NO contact will be closed for as long as its coil remains energized. When the coil is de-energized, all the timer's NO contact will be opened immediately. So, if the coil is de-energized, before the delay time is up, the timer will be reset and its contact will never be closed. When a last aborted timer is re-energized, the delay timing will restart afresh using the set value of the timer and not continue from the last aborted timing operation. We see an example. Like once you press the input A, the timer will start the timer. So if you have seen that this is a timer number and this is a set value as a 10 second timer suppose if you have taken, so when you press the button, the timer will start its function and it will, uh, it will decrement like 10, 9, 8, 7 seconds like this it will go to 0. Once it will be done means timer is up. This timer T0 contact, NO contact will be energized and the output will be energized. Suppose you have released the input A in between, the timer will be reset and once you press again the timer will start timing or its function from 10 right away from 10. So this T will never be energized until you will close the contact continuously until the timer done bit is done and the output is energized. Once you release it, timer's timing function here set value will be reset it and it will again come back to 0. There is again a different function as a counter instruction. This is little bit different from the timer like a counter is also a special kind of relay that the programmable set value SV. When the coil is energized, for the first time after the reset, it will load the value SV minus 1 into its counter register. From there on, every time the counter coil goes from off to on, the counter decrements its count register value by 1. Now note that the coil must go through off to on status, means you have to continuously press and release press and release the button or if sensor is there, sensor will be sense, unsense, sense, unsense, kind of thing. 
So if the coil remain energized all the time, suppose sensor is sensed continuously, the counter will not decrement. Hence the counter is suitable for counting the number of cycles of an operation has gone through. Now, when the counter resistors hit zero, means suppose if you set at the counter of 10 and it will become 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all the counters NO contact will be turned on. This counter contact will remain on regardless of whether the counter coil is energized or not. To turn off this contact, you have to reset the counter using a special counter reset function. Let me take an example over here. Let's suppose if you press the button input A and this is a counter, counter number is 0 and set value is a 10, so it will count the 10. So once you press the button, you will decrement it SV minus 1 means 10 minus 1 is a 9. And you have to release and press again, it will become 8. Release and press again. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. And once it will become 0, the counters and no contact will be energized and your output will be energized. So, to reset this, suppose if it is done, its counting is done to, uh, till 10 and this is energized. So, to reset this, you have to use a special function or special instruction as a counter reset. Then only this counter will be reset. Until and unless it will be set for all time. Now, there you have seen in our first say, uh, first set instruction that you have pressed the button and the output is set it. Okay. And then you have to reset the button. So, output will be reset it. That set or latch of the output, that latch of the output, we can even generate through the software. You can see over here, you take an input A, this is output B over here and then same output B and no contact, we have taken in parallel to input A. Now, how it functions, we will see. In figure 1, you can see that once you press the input A, the output will be on. And as soon as the output B is on, this also will be energized. So, you can see over here. Now, the power passes from output B to output B and it will be continuously on, though you will release the input A. So, this is called a software set or software latch. Now, in next tutorial, we will see the introduction to PLC. Why? How to wire the PLC? Thank you and have a nice day.